Hey guys, Coach Keith Kepner here. Let's talk about pivoting on your punches. All the little nuances, variables, and important things to know in concern to this one subject. My coach, old school boxing coach, raised in the old school, the pivot was a integral part of punching. Except for every punch except the jab. So on a two, you need to pivot that back foot. Three, you need to pivot the lead foot, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you pivot on to produce power, all right? When you ask people, why do you pivot? They say it's to produce power. And yes, it does have an effect or contribute, or it is a variable with power, but it's important to know why, how, and where it's not, and how it can be a detriment. Because like with anything, if you get too dogmatic about it, you can run into problems, all right? If you wanna be rational and logical, and that's what a good fighter, and also I think a good coach does. With the pivot, what is the purpose of a pivot in boxing, meaning, meaning pivoting with your punches, not like spinning, turning, things like that. The purpose is not to produce power from the foot pivot itself. It's actually a release. Think about that way, it is a release on what? It's a release on the hip to turn. And what is the, re what is the hip a release on? The hip is a release on your shoulder to turn. So, if we reverse how oftentimes people look at this, we reverse and instead of going from the ground up, we start from the top up, we get a better picture for how a pivot can be helpful and also where it might not be necessary. Because if you study enough fighters, if you work with enough fighters, et cetera, et cetera, you'll see that it is not essential. It is not absolutely required for power, obviously. So if we go on a reverse approach, the power of the punch comes from the turning of the shoulders. Because if you just throw with your arms, it's not gonna have any power, right? We all know that idea. It turns into a push if you try to produce power with the arms. And obviously the punch delivery or connection with the knuckles, things of that nature, needs to be correct. But outside of that, it's not the arms, it is the shoulders. So the upper body, so really above the, the midsection, that is going to be important to get with the punch. And you see guys and gals on the inside in close proximity throw punches that just have a rotation of the shoulders, and that is it. There is no hip, there is no foot, all right? That's gonna produce power because why? You have now more weight behind the punch than you do if it's just your arms. Your arms don't weigh that much, it's not gonna produce much power. Again, I'm not talking about pushes, I'm talking about punches. So, you get that turning, rotating. Now, to maximize it more, you get some torso rotation that also engages and involves the hips rotating. That's also going to produce more power, all right? Now, the last part of that is where the foot comes into play of releasing and allowing you to turn more, maximizing. Now, again, is it required? No, but it helps maximize. Now, let me tell you where it can be a detriment though, if you focus too much on the ground up as you go up versus like I'm talking about the top up and working your way down. If you focus on purely the pivot versus everything else, you will have a situation where your feet are turning, but the hips are not rotating, the torso is not rotating, the shoulders are not turning and rotating, and you are not getting the body behind your punches and producing power because you can pivot all day long and not get your body with your punches, and you can actually not pivot and get your body behind your punches pretty well, all right, outside of just a step. It's just purely about that rotation, and that rotation alone is what allows you to get your body behind your punch. So very important to approach it this way. I've seen fighters get held back by focusing on the pivot, and they actually have poor balance because they're going up on the balls of their feet, or in the worst case scenario, they're going up on their toes as they pivot, which you shouldn't do anyway as a practice or as a rule of thumb. And uh, their, their balance is precarious with their punches. Their punches are also slower because they're arbitrarily turning their feet with their punches where you can throw a lot faster if you just rotate those shoulders really fast, rotate the hips quickly, and that upper body, if you just rotate that really fast and you throw your punches, you can throw fast punches that are pretty powerful as well. And again, if you look at all of the greats, you'll see that the vast majority of them don't have a perfect pivot, but, it, but what is perfect is them utilizing their body with their punches. The caveat to that is when you're training, I still say, according to my old school boxing coach that I was raised up on, say that you need to work on good balance. What does that mean? So obviously, as I'm saying this, you're, you might look through at fighters that are powerful punchers 
and how they, they lean on punches. They kind of fall on punches. And yes, there's a time and a place for that. But as far as practicing, I do believe that it is so essential for a beginner to practice rotating and keeping perfect balance, meaning keeping their weight essentially in the center the entire time. Because if you don't practice that and you don't have the ability to do that, then if you start practicing other things, you don't have a base to fall back on and you're gonna fall off balance and you're gonna miss a lot of punches uh, and not be able to recover with those punches you miss. Again, of course, all fighters miss punches, but when you miss a punch, you wanna minimize how much uh, that's a detriment to you, obviously by not over committing to punches, but also that also means maintaining a good stable balance. The more you keep that balance, the less you will over commit to a punch and the less you'll be vulnerable and the more you'll be able to come back and follow up a miss with another big shot or a defensive maneuver, all right? So take that approach to your training. I highly recommend working more from the top down instead of the bottom up. Now that doesn't mean in terms of stance, you don't need to focus on bottom up. Again, with foot placement, things like that, those are all important. But again, you could think about it this way. You could have perfect foot placement, but everything above that is totally out of whack, whether that's the legs are straight, you know, you're standing up straight with your chin up in the air, the hands are down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So again, it's a full picture, but in terms of punches, you can have a perfect pivot, perfect hip rotation, but be slapping every punch you're throwing, right? Or not putting the rest of your body actually with the punch. Uh, and then versus you could have a pretty poor foot position and stance, but rotating the shoulders and the torso and the hips and connecting with your knuckles properly and have pretty powerful punches. And again, of course, like we all know, part of being a powerful puncher is not only being able to produce power, but also have the timing to deliver it when it needs to be delivered, and also the accuracy to deliver it where it needs to be delivered. Because there's really two types of power punchers. There's clubbers and sharpshooters, and you wanna lean on being a sharpshooter. The clubber has a lot of trouble, right? Because they just, they just basically trying to hit you with the broad side of the barn, whereas the sharp shoot shooter is able to use less energy and typically has better timing, but hits you on those pinpoint areas that any good boxer needs to know and learn of how you can get someone out of there with minimal force. Places like here, like the button in boxing, or hitting someone right on the liver in the right place or the sternum, things of that nature, that is going to allow you to really affect and impact your opponent, maybe maybe drop them or get them out of there with way less effort than it takes to be someone that just clubs their punches. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like and subscribe. Make sure you click share. Share it to someone that you think it might, might have some benefit from it. And uh, look out for the next one coming out, guys. Have a great day.